Fugu. The Japanese term for the puffer fish and the dishes prepared from it, fugu is a cuisine infamous for its potential lethality. Many of the puffer fish and porcupine fish of the families Diododontidae and Tetraodontidae have concentrated in their body a deadly chemical, tetrodotoxin. Tetrodotoxin is extremely lethal. It's estimated to be 30 times more deadly than potassium cyanide per volume. References to the puffer fish can be found as far back as 2700 BC in hieroglyphics from ancient Egypt, and it's thought that mosaic sanitary laws against eating fish without fins and scales may have been to avoid tetrodotoxin containing fish, which were all scaleless in the areas inhabited by the Israelites. Fugu, meanwhile, has been eaten in Japan for millennia. Bones from pufferfish have been found in shell mounds dating back to the Jomon period more than 2300 years ago. The pufferfish's toxicity was first cataloged in modern times in the ship logs of Captain James Cook. On September 7, 1774, Cook recorded his crew having eaten a local tropical fish while sailing. This was later identified by Cook's rather thorough physical descriptions as being a pufferfish. They ended up feeding the remains of the fish to the pigs they kept on board. While the crew experienced numbness and shortness of breath as a result, the pigs were found dead the next morning. The crew got very lucky. When they started to eat the fish, they realized that their lips were getting numb, and they caught on that that was a bad sign. It's not difficult for tetrodotoxin to kill you. Of course, fugu was consumed in Japan through much of its history, with some later exceptions. The consumption of fugu was banned in the Edo regions of Japan by the Tokugawa shogunate during its reign from 1603 to 1868, though it was consumed once again more commonly once the shogunate's power waned. In the areas outside of their direct influence, particularly in the western regions of Japan where the pufferfish was quite prolific, consumption continued in spite of the laws and cooking methods became more refined. The Meiji era, from 1867 to 1912, also resulted in another ban on the fugu that was ultimately rather ineffective. Following the Meiji era, the fugu passed back into legality. In the post-World War II period, fugu fatalities unfortunately skyrocketed, with deaths due to ill-prepared fugu in restaurants as well as poor Japanese citizens grilling discarded fugu scraps from the restaurants, often the most toxic portions. General MacArthur, heading the occupation of Japan, instituted strict regulations on fugu, which became the modern fugu certification system of today. Only specially certified chefs who complete two to three year apprenticeships can receive the necessary certification. Even then, they need to pass a written test, a fish identification test, and a practical test of preparing and eating the fish. Only 35% of applicants end up passing the test. Tetrodotoxin is a powerful neurotoxin that lacks any known antidote. When consumed, tetrodotoxin compounds block nerve signals by blocking the sodium channels in nerve cell membranes, preventing the affected nerve cells from firing entirely. The first symptom of poisoning is the feeling of numbness in the lips and tongue, which is soon followed by hypersalivation, sweating, and headaches, as well as nausea and re other rejection indications. This is followed next by increasing paralysis, the patient slowly loses all ability to move and begins to have trouble breathing. Convulsions, mental impairment, and cardiac arrhythmia then often follow, as well as total respiratory failure and cardiovascular collapse. Essentially, the nerve blockers entirely stop the nerves in your body from firing until your lungs and even heart stops. Death usually occurs within four to six hours, but it's been recorded as happening as short as 20 minutes. There is no cure to the intoxication. Care for patients tends to involve just emptying the stomach, using activated carbon to try to bind the toxin, and using life support systems to keep you alive until the tetrodotoxin wears off. The key in preparing fugu is then for the preparer to make sure that they remove all the toxic components completely. The most toxic areas are the offal, particularly the liver and ovaries. Preparation involves careful removing all of those bits and making sure there's no contamination of the surrounding meat. It is actually illegal to serve these bits to anyone, since it's basically a death sentence. Rather famously, Japanese kabuki actor and living national treasure, Bando Mitsugoro VIII, requested four fugu livers in 1975, saying he could handle the poison. Turns out, he couldn't. 
He died so hard. He died a shitty painful death after seven hours of paralysis and misery. At least he was thorough though, you have to give him that. Still, despite the care usually taken in fugu preparation, fugu is the only food that the Emperor of Japan is forbidden to consume, for rather apparent reasons. They don't want to risk their royalty for fish. Interestingly though, it appears that the fuku's toxicity isn't a natural characteristic of the fish. The buildup of tetrodotoxin in their bodies comes from them eating other animals in the wild that contain the toxin, which in turn builds up in their own bodies. It is possible to farm tetrodotoxin-free fugu by keeping the fish away from the animals and bacteria containing the toxin. Neat.